Um, we are on a very serious topic. That is a complete and empowered man. I'm Bishop Katimo. I'm praying that the blood of Christ cover you, wherever you are. We are reaching out to you from Bahati Nairobi. God is so kind. Now, for you to be complete, man, I want to introduce what we call the five stages of life. The five stages of life. Let's go to Genesis chapter 4. The Bible says, and Adam and Eve, Adam knew wife, knew Eve his wife. And she conceived and gave birth to Cain and said, I've acquired a man from the Lord. Then she gave birth to again, this time to brother Abel. And now Abel was a keeper of sheep. And Cain was a tiller of the ground. I want to introduce shortly the five stages that life must go through if it's going to make you a complete person. One, birth. Bible says, at birth, what do you receive? You receive a name. What do you have? If today we talk about birth, what do you have? You have birth itself, a place of birth, and most likely a name that was given to you at the point of birth. That's all. And maybe most likely, birth certificate, an identity, an official document. That's all. And if you grow up with only evidence of birth, nothing else in life, you may not be useful. Today, people will not become your friends just because you are born. People will not give you value just because you are born. People will not invite you to meetings just because you are born. People will not make you companions in certain work, company, certain uh, projects just because you are born. No. People will not invite you into projects just because you exist. You are born. People will invite you to be companions in the ministry in good work, in professional work, because of what you became later. And the second part of birth, we call that the career level. Career level. That's when the Bible says, if you check your Bible, after birth, the Bible says, an Abel was a keeper of sheep. The issue of being born is gone now. The issue of being born Having a certificate of birth, eh? being somebody's son, being somebody's daughter is gone. Now become somebody. Bible says, and Abel became who? A keeper of sheep. You could invite this man to your dowry and you offer some sheep. If an African, we want us, we also want Europeans to give some dowry. We don't want that kind of dry individualistic life. Don't worry. You could invite Abel maybe for some business because he has a profession. Abel was a keeper of sheep. And Cain was a tiller of crowd. Professional. Career life. We don't want you to sit in the church just worshipping and not. No, we want you to worship well but bring the produce of what you became. Bigger produce. And now today, every youth who is, who is watching, don't just blame people. Can you come out and tell God, God, you are a giver of career. Abel was a keeper of sheep. And Cain was a tiller of the ground. You visit them. And Abel maybe would take you to a restaurant and order, for, order some lunch. He had some money. And Cain will take you around and maybe order, maybe for some, for some good things, buy your suit because he had money. You are supposed to enter the second level of your life, career level. Career level, you receive way of living. You receive the name of life, not just the name of birth. The name of life, some people are known by the name of what they do, not the name 
not by original. There are so many people who you can not be able to, 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 to trace them by their original names in the ID or passport. They are known by their career. The third thing, look at what happened. After, let, let's go to the scriptures. Yes, I, in the process of time. Yes, this must happen to you. My brother, my sister, in the process of time. God, you demand something. You can't just succeed because you have a career. In the process of time, it came to pass that Cain brought an offering of the fruit of the ground to the Lord. Abel also brought of the firstborn of his flock and their fat. And the Lord respected Abel and his offering, but he did not respect Cain and his offering. And Cain was very angry and his countenance failed. Now, look at this issue. The third part of your life is the way you respond to God in giving. In sacrificial giving. Out of your career, out of what you get, God you demand appear before me. Appear before me. Come before me. I want to see you. Come with your first fruit. Come with your tithe. Come with your worship offering. Come. Come with something that honor God's work. Now, that time, the altar produced two people. Abel was respected in his offering, and Cain was not respected. So, and by the way, do you know, uh, you, every Sunday you come to God, if you are sincere in your giving and you are so faithful, you come out of the church with confirmation. You know it. Me, I'm getting out of this place to get breakthrough. God confirms acceptable sacrifice right at the giving point. That's, you need to come out of the church to become rich. There is an opportunity of becoming the elder of today. Accepted sacrifice and accepted, respected sacrifice and respected giver. That's very important. Abel came out. There are two things you notice. The countenance, the face of Cain fell. The heart was full of grief and adaptive feelings. So what happened after that? Cain was so much rebellious, even after being given chance for restoration, he refused. He was the first person to discover how to kill, the first murderer. How did Cain discover how to kill and why kill his brother and why kill his brother after his brother is accepted by God? You need to know some of the enemies that you have are within our people maybe who you appeared together in the altar. When God respected you and respected your offering, those who are not respected might turn around to discover what you ruin you. But remember, today we have the blood of Christ to cover us. That's powerful. So the fourth level of life is either you are blessed or you are cursed. After appearing before God, Cain came out cast. Abel came out respected. That's how people, the altar produces. And don't be deceived. Watch out people in this world. Watch out. Watch out. There are people who appear to have prosperity, money. But it's money owned with a lot of pain. They, it's not a blessing, it's a struggle, it's painful. There are those who have money, prosperity, which is a blessing. It endures, it endures even to so many generations afterwards. And therefore you need to know that. The fifth level is the new life product. New life product. Mm -hmm. New life product of career and working with God. That's what the Bible says in Genesis chapter 24 verse 2. And God blessed Abraham with everything. 
That's why after God called Abraham, if you check Genesis chapter 13, verse 2, it says, And God blessed Abraham with his silver, gold, and cattle. How? Because in Genesis chapter 12, when God called Abraham, the Bible says, And Abraham obeyed God. That's why chapter 13 must confirm the man who, was, who obeyed God later started owning a lot of gold and silver. We need to know how we can become product and prosper so much. The way we respond, the sincerity, hear this, the sincerity and the truth of our giving. Number one, Cain had a problem in the heart. Cain had a problem with the heart. He did not accept and understand God the way God is. Whenever you give an offering, the first thing God you check is my name real in his heart. If the name of God is real in your heart, you fear God a lot. That's why when Abraham was almost to kill Isaac, eh, the Bible says, and God said to Abraham, I now know you fear me. I now know you fear me. God would like to know to what level do you fear and honor him. And those are five stages of life. If you follow them through and you be faithful, it will produce a complete and empowered man. Jesus bless you. In the name of the Lord, I pray that God, this word will become so practical. And Lord, the person who is watching and reasoning and making notes and internalizing will be changed. And the room for better will be so clear and open to him or her. In Christ we pray.